So a replay add-on is finally here for Minecraft Barrel Edition. So this add-on was made by Dark Block Gaming and I'm going to show you the replay part of this add-on and the cinematic part. You can always skip to whatever part you want. I'll have the time stats in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Before you load into your world, you want to make sure that you turn on beta APIs and enable the resource pack. And the behavior path should automatically enable on its own. To get started, you want to take an anvil and get two sticks. And you want to rename one to replay and the next one to cinematic. So making sure that there's no spaces in the word. What is going on here? Why was the error golem floating? Anyways, let's go and look for a spot to build. You want to long press with the replay stick and you'll get this entire menu right here. And you want to start the recording start to build whatever you want to build mm. so i'm going to build a custom tree here so once you're finished long press with the replay state again and save the recording and you can also pause the recording at any time as well so once you're finished the entire build will disappear now don't worry the build will still be there so let's go ahead and long press again and click on preview replay and watch what happens guys we're now building the tree right here if you want to record it like this you can but you can change a couple of things in the settings so let's go ahead and show you that so we're going to low press i'm going to stop the preview so that i can show you these settings right here so in this same menu you'll see the preview settings you want to click on that and you can change a couple of things here and the first thing is the steve skin now i'm going to use my custom skin uh you will have to manually import your custom skin into the add-on i'm going to make a video on how to do that then there's the player's name so if you click on disable the name is not going to disable now i think that's probably just a glitch within the add-on so once you change the preview settings you want to go ahead and click on submit and now you want to preview the replay once you're satisfied with the build and satisfied with the recording you can now go ahead and long press and start the camera setup and you'll get this new menu you'll see the load frame takes a seconds now this is where it gets really interesting because wherever you put the ticks at is where the cinematic part will start and wherever you put the seconds at is where it will end so the first thing you want to do is load in the ticks so you want to load the ticks to any point in the build you can start it from the beginning it's really up to you so i'm going to go ahead and load in the ticks and submit so i want the cinematic part to start at this part of the build so this is the player model so this will show you where you would be at this point in time in the build. I'm going to add a camera point here. But it's really up to you where you want to add the camera points. And then I'm going to come around here because I want this to look very cinematic here. So I'm going to long press again and go into the load frames. Now here is where it gets interesting. Whatever you put these seconds at right now is where the cinematic shot will end. I'm going to put it somewhere in the build. Okay, there we go. Add camera point. Okay, so now we're going to add another camera point and there we go. Now we have camera point one and camera point two. So I'm going to long press. So this add-on doesn't capture any in-game recordings. So you want to make sure that you have your recorder. I'm using my built-in screen recorder, uh, but you can use an app or anything like that to record. So once you're satisfied, you can proceed further. When you go ahead and start the replay, this is where it'll start. that it does glitch out if the rain is about to fall so you may want to set the weather to clear uh, before you start and after that the camera point will stop there you can actually move around as the um camera is going but you probably don't need to do that because you're doing a cinematic part anyways this is so impressive i'm so happy that barrel finally has a replay mod because this will make building montages so much easier now there's only two bugs that i have encountered so far and the first one is the player name currently right now player names don't disable and the next thing if the rain is about to fall it will lag the um add-on now first you want to check out some of these really cool settings right here guys so there's a couple of things that you can change in the settings at first is the camera ease type you can change this from linear to anything else this will just change how the cinematic part will look 
so if i change this to in out cubic it's going to look different so i'm going to show you that in a minute and we can also change the camera type the top down focus mitts this will actually track the player so if i select that and then start the replay and make sure you submit for sure when the cinematic part starts it'll track the player which is actually pretty cool oh and i can't forget by the way you can actually change the top down height the height was at eight when you saw that recording we can change it and make it a little bit higher so this is the top down dynamic you can probably do some music videos with this guys this is this is awesome i don't know if it's supposed to be doing that or if that's a bug but i i think that is supposed to happen as long as you're satisfied with your build you can go ahead and click on load structure or reset now this part is very important load build and reset means that you'll be resetting the entire recording and saving the build but if you're not satisfied with the build you want to go ahead and click on delete progress but only click on that if you want to delete the build so I'm going to click on load build and reset and it will go ahead and load in the entire build. So yeah, it has reset from the beginning and that is pretty much how it works. So let me tell you a couple of things about this add-on. So the first thing is that it will not capture grass and tree growth. So that will not be in the replay. If you put down a sapling, even though it will capture the sapling, if you do decide to grow it, it is not going to capture that. For now, this is honestly incredible. I'm so glad that I no longer need to use second accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the cinematic part of this add-on in case you have never seen it before. This is the part where you'll use the cinematic stick. Now this is a completely different section of the add-on. Here is how you use it from start to finish. You want to go to a spot where you want to take any cinematic shot. Long press and add a position frame. And then you want to go to another spot and add another position frame. You will now have two position frames going. So I have one up here, one going down there. And now I want to go back and start the camera. It'll get ready and go. You can actually move around in the frame if you want. You can go ahead and stop the camera at any point. You can always quickly preview this. And then in the settings, you can change the screen. Uh, when I go ahead and start the camera, as you can see, it'll be a lot different. So you can always experiment with those settings if you want. If you come up here, you'll see enable position frame particles. Now you see those hearts right there. Those are the position frame particles. You can actually change what they look like. So I can like put it as happy villager particle. I think those are the green particles. And we're going to submit. And there we go. Now it'll be those green uh, happy villager particles right there. I even added this new part, this new feature, which is focus on player. Wherever you are, it'll kind of follow you just like the replay you can change the the camera ease type to in out quad in cubic in queen and of course you can change the time so the lower the number the faster it will go and the higher the number the slower it will go so if i submit this should go a lot slower and let's go you see how slow it is now so if you're not satisfied with what you just did in the settings you can reset that to the very beginning if you make a mistake you can always remove the last position frame that is pretty much like a undo button and then you can remove all the position frames that is pretty much how the cinematic part of this add-on works so it has both the replay part and the cinematic part and keep in mind that the replay part is under development so i hope this video was really helpful to you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone